So once this is done, so let's start creating a table. So for that, let me just simply clear this. And instead of this, so let me just open the parenthesis. So inside here, so I will create a div uh, with the class name, something called the user table. So this is for creating a simple table. So inside here, so we just have to create a table. So let's uh, type something like table and the class name. So the class name will be table. And you can just simply type table bordered. So since we have installed the uh, bootstrap, so this table and table bordered will give the table uh, by using the bootstrap. So first of all, let's create some content here. So this will automatically create the table. So first of all, let's create a table head and inside the table head. So we will just type table row and inside table row. So we will just type table heading. The scope will be column. And so we can just give the name something like symbol number or serial number, whatever you say. So you can see the serial number. And similarly, another table heading would be uh, name. So we will just type name. So you can see the name. And similarly, so let me just simply copy this. And let me just paste. Let me just paste it again. And instead of this name, so we will just type email. And instead of this uh, name, so we will just type address. And at last, so we'll just type accents. So this accents is for basically uh, update and delete button here. So so we will later add that. But before that, so we just have to style our table as well. And also, let me just add the table data. So for that, we can just simply type uh, just below this table here. You can just simply type table body. And inside table body, so we will just uh, simply write table row and inside here so let me just simply type table data so we will just make it uh, dynamic later on so for now you can just simply type uh, john and you can just simply type the table data in, in instead of this uh, email so you can just simply type john at the red gmail.com so here you just need to simply type uh, address so you can just simply give something like canada and the last one is accents. So in accents, so we will later be adding the two buttons. For now, you can just simply type update and delete. So let me just save so you can see on, uh, on symbol number. So you can see one name, John, email, address, and action buttons. So first of all, so let's uh, style this table so that it looks a uh, little, little bit better. So for that, you can just simply uh, go into this user.css and here so we can just uh, style but before that you just need to import the user.css into this uh, user.dsx so here at the top you can just simply type import uh, and just open this code and just type dot slash user.css and just go into this user.css and let's start styling this uh, user table so first of all so let's style the uh, user table uh, so here just type dot user table and let's give width something like 60% and so if you see so this has changed the width to 60% and similarly just give the margin something like uh, 50 pixel at top and at right and left you can just simply type uh, auto so this will automatically adjust the margin and similarly so let's give the background color white so you can see the background color white and similarly so let's give the padding something like 50 pixel so you can see the padding has been set 50 pixel here and similarly let's give the border radius border radius something like uh, 5 pixel so you can see uh, at the a so you can see the rounded corner I can just give the 10 pixel as well. So let's see how it looks. So you can see, so this has uh, created more rounded, so it looks better. And finally, so let's give the um, shadow as well. So just type box shadow. And so first of all, so in box shadow, so we just have to simply type the horizontal offset. So let's give something like one pixel and let's give vertical offset, something like one pixel. And you can just give the blur offset, something like eight pixel. So you can see, so this is looking like this. 
and also let's uh, give some color uh, representation so with the rgba so just type rgba and inside here so we don't want it to be red green or blue so you just give zero 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 and at last so just give the uh, transparency of this uh, black color so the transparency of black color gives something like 0 0.065 and you can see so now it looks a little better here so this is how you give the uh, box shadow so once this is done so let me again go to the user.jsx so inside here you can see the table so let's uh, do some styling with the uh, table inside the user table so the table is inside the user table so we just have to simply type dot user table and just type table only and here just give the width 100 percent and just give the margin top something like 30 pixel since we will be adding the button inside here so let's add the button so for that you can just simply go into the bootstrap here and source for a button So if you just scroll down, so you can see the different colors of buttons. So I just want it to be primary. So copy the first one. So since primary is in the first one and the primary is basically for uh, this blue color. So let me just go into the user.jsx and before this table. So let me just simply paste that and save. So in full stack, so you can see the button primary. So let's uh, call it something like add user. So we will just make it as a add user button so we will later add the icons here as well but for now let me just style this uh, table so for that let me just uh, first of all style this table heading so let me just go into the user.css so inside here so let me just type something like dot user table and just type table and inside table so you can see this table head and we just want to style this table heading so just simply type table head just type table head and just type th and inside here so we just want to give the background color something like uh, dark cyan so just type dark cyan so you can see so this has changed the uh, background color of this uh, table heading and similarly so you can see the text is on black so we just want it to be white so just give the color white so this should have changed this color of the text as well and similarly, so we just want to uh, style the table data as well. So let's make the text at the center of this table. So for that, let me just go into the user.css and similarly just type the user table, table and inside table body. So the table data is inside the table body. So inside here, so we just want to give first of all padding 10 pixel. So now it looks little better and similarly so we just want the text to be align center so just type text align center and so you can see the text has been aligned to the center and similarly just type vertical align middle so just type vertical align middle so i think this is it for the styling for this user.jsx